Hi, tango dancer. Do you sometimes feel uncomfortable when you are dancing tango? Maybe sometimes you are losing your balance a bit when you are dancing or you do not feel very comfortable in the close embrace. If you want to feel confident, comfortable, creative when you are dancing tango, improving the quality of your dancing is key. And in this video, we are going to help you do just that. We are going to share with you three technique mistakes a lot of tango dancers do and how to avoid them. Tango is not about the steps, it's about the journey of the steps. It's, mm. it's, it's about what happened in between the steps. So this video is not about the steps, it's about the how, how you do the steps. Common mistake number one is not projecting in the tango walk. So we show you what we mean by this. This is when, for example, you are ready to take a, a, a forward step with the leader and a back step for the follower. You're going to extend up until now, everything is really good. And then you are going to transfer your weight without projecting, which means you're going to land here. So instead of um, projecting and pushing, which we are going to see in, the, in a minute, you are landing exactly there. When you are doing that, you are not having as much power as you could and you are also blocking your partner's potentiality for more expression, more power, more freedom in the movement. This is a very important uh, thing that in tango we have that is to project the steps. Why? Because we are going to express the steps in, di in different ways depending on the music. Yes? Sometimes when we want to express something or maybe to dance the full phrase of the music with one step, we are going to project and uh, that's why it's so important that you know this as a leader and as a follower, uh, that you are aware of what, you know, how to project the step and how to listen to your partner. So the way that we are going to project the steps is using the supporting leg. So when we go uh, here, we are not going to, <coughs> to try to reach back with, um, with the free leg like, like that to go big. If not, that we are going to use the supporting leg. So the supporting leg is the, the weight that has the weight. And we are going to push, and we are going to push, 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 push the floor until we transfer our axis. So that journey, that moment that we were saying push, 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 that, that moment is something that is very, very important because it's the moment that as a follower, she's listening to my push and pushing with me and as a leader, I'm proposing that. I'm really uh, pushing the floor and holding her with embrace to make her to understand that, okay, I want you to stay with me, but I want you to project with me. And that, that's a, it's an important thing, no? that to do this together. Followers, it is very important that you develop your ability to read how much your leader is projecting so that you are with them, getting ready for your step, and you feel the projection, you feel the push and you are going to transfer your weight after, after you have pushed together. So you need to push as much as he is pushing. This is just a matter of practice, developing your sensitivity. You are using your embrace to feel that, and you are pushing as much as he pushes. Common mistake number two is no dissociating when pivoting. So um, in tango, always when we pivot, we are going to dissociate our body. It means, uh, dissociation means that we are separating the line of the shoulders with the line of the hips. We are beginning the, the pivot from the center of the body. And the common mistake is that, is that it's to pivot as, as a block, it's to pivot like that. So what happens when we pivot like that is two things. One is that probably you will not have enough impulse, so you will kind of help with the free leg you know, to, to pivot, kind of pushing. And the other thing is that it will be no in control. You will pivot and it, it will not have really control the moment. That's why we don't want to pivot in that way in tango. In tango, we always pivot doing the dissociation, beginning, beginning the moment from the center of the chest, creating a spiral. So it's torso and then the hips and then the feet and then the pivot. So the free leg is the last thing that I'm collecting, that I'm bringing with me, because first is the center, and then I bring my knee, my hips, and then I bring my knee, the pivot, and then the feet after. This is valid for the leader and the follower, obviously. For example, when you are doing an ocho, here is going to be first my torso, then my hip, and then my leg that is going to make me pivot. And then I take a forward step, and then here again, it's torso towards my partner, 
hip and then the leg. So that, as Pablo explained, helps me to be much more controlled because if I pivot like this, I do not know where I land. Whereas here, what I am doing is that I am giving the direction of my, of my pivoting to my, with my upper body, upper body, then my hip and then my free leg follows. Common mistake number three is losing the alignment. And this is going to make you lose your balance and make your partner feel uncomfortable. So this is something that we see regularly in the dancing and for example, that we see a lot hap happen in the hero, so in the tango turn. So when we talk about alignment uh, in tango, we talk about the alignment of our bodies as individual dancer. And the alignment, it means that your, the line of your shoulders and the line of your hips has to be parallel to the floor. And the line of your spine has to be straight, so no, no bending to the side. So straight, and then the two lines here parallel to the floor. So now, in the hero, the, in the turn, for example, is a common place where dancers lose that alignment. Because you can start uh, like this with alignment, and then when you start turning, you start uh, maybe losing the alignment here, and then that will cause um, unbalance in the dance because I will be losing more my balance as a leader, and I will invite her also to lose the balance with me. It's going to be the same, for example, for a follower. So if we take the example of the hero again, we can start with great uh, alignment. And then let's say, for example, here in my forward step, I want to turn towards my partner, dissociate and pivot towards my partner. If I lose my alignment and go like this, here, I'm going to fall and I am going to make him fall. So I always remember when I am dancing to keep the line of my shoulders and the line of my hips parallel to the floor and to keep my spine vertical to the floor as well. Correcting these three very common technique mistakes will help you really improve the quality of your dancing and give you more possibilities as well with your partner. Uh, you will see it's going to really transform the quality of your dancing. So now we show you with tango music. There you have it, three common mistakes that you want to avoid in order to feel more confident and comfortable when you are dancing and how to correct them. So here's a brief recap. First, make sure that you are projecting when you are walking. This will allow you to be much more powerful, have more possibilities, be much more with the tango music as well. Number two, make sure you really dissociate before you pivot because this will help you be more connected with your partner and also have more control, so be much more grounded when you are dancing. 
And number three, make sure you are keeping your alignment all the time. So we gave you an example in the hilo, a more sophisticated step, but make sure you keep your alignment, so the shoulders and the hips parallel to the floor all the time in your dancing, whether you are a leader or a follower. This will help you feel much more stable and much more secure in your dancing. In the Tango Confidence online course, we go deeper into these topics mm. and also we go deeper because we don't project the steps only in the wall, we project the steps also in the ochos, uh, the alignment, you know, in the, in the heroes and, and the dissociation is something, is something that you know, requires a bit more, uh, more, more technique and more time to not make the mistakes. Yeah, so absolutely. And if you want to join us in the Tango Confidence online course, basically if you want to keep learning with us and improve your tango technique, become a more uh, confident tango leader or follower, we are going to open registrations for this amazing course that we love. It's a step-by-step -step process all about helping you develop the quality of your dancing and feel much more confident and creative when you are dancing tango. Registrations are about to open. We will put the link to the waitlist so that you can click on the link, sign up, and you will be notified uh, when we open the doors and also you will know if it's for you or not. And please, keep learning and keep sharing your dancing because the world of tango is your embrace. Absolutely. Thank you so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye. Bye.